And we've got two new guys that are going to come into our leadership group. First one's Brody Smith. And our fourth member is Tommy Duda. I think someone like Smithers who had built that respect over the, his time at the club, it was almost, he was around that leadership group but just didn't have the label and now that he's got the label it's just, it's something extra, it's not really, hasn't changed how he, how he is and uh, Matty Crouch is obviously a young leader, he was in the leadership group last year but he's, he just leads by example and he's got a great relationship with all the boys and um, so I've had them two to learn off and then you've obviously got Lynchy and Sloney who are experienced and been there a long time. So for me it's been an easy shift just because I've got those guys above me who I can look to and then for Smithers I feel like he was already in that realm so it's been pretty comfortable for him as well. The first two or three weeks we were together we had our, our usual meetings in the, in the rooms and you forget how much you read on body language cues and when someone goes to talk how they lean forward a bit. It changed from person, in person to Zoom chats but you still got the same sort of effect out of we're trying to build a culture, we're trying to lead these young blokes, we're trying to develop relationships but it also gave us time because we weren't at the club as much we had more time to make phone calls and talk about Ace Taylor, a rookie who's just come over here, I was calling him a couple of times a week just to chat to him and learn a bit more about his family and where he's come from and it was the same as with other blokes and so instead of talking about footy, because we're not playing footy, you're more talking about their family life and starting to get to know them a bit better. The Crows are bracing to spend at least five weeks in their new Gold Coast hub. I think it'll be the best thing for our team considering we've got a younger group we've had all this time off to come together and just actually develop relationships chat uh, figure out a bit more about each other and then that'll transition into playing games so that's probably the bit I'm most excited about. Obviously I'd had a long 12 month recovery, I'd had a few setbacks and then to have that big setback so close to round one was pretty pretty gut wrenching and everyone's biggest support is, is their family as much as I've got a lot of people around the club that I, I confide in to go back home and actually get to spend six weeks playing board games and cards, even just sitting around watching a movie with your family, it's something that when you live interstate you don't really get to do, even off season you travel, Christmas break you're seeing people and stuff so um, yeah it was a valuable time and um, forever grateful for it just because it was basically our family and that's it. You just, just spend your time with your family, do your training, come back and spend time and didn't have to go and catch up with all my mates.